Welcome, listeners, to the We On Podcast. Today, we're diving into something pretty amazing, uh, getting a completely new look at our sun. Specifically, it's poles. We've never really seen them like this before. That's right. It's uh, it's genuinely a milestone moment. We're talking about the first ever close-up views, particularly of the sun's south pole, thanks to the European Space Agency's solar orbiter. And that's huge, isn't it? Because, well, usually we're kind of stuck looking at the sun's middle, its equator. Exactly. Earth, you know, and pretty much all our previous spacecraft orbit on this flat plane, the ecliptic. Like being stuck on a merry-go-round and only seeing things at eye level. Pretty much, yeah. You just can't easily see the top or bottom. But this orbiter, it was designed specifically to, well, break out of that plane. Okay, so how how did it manage that? Must have been tricky. Oh, absolutely. It involves some really clever maneuvering, uh, tilting its orbit bit by bit. It's now reached an angle around maybe 15, 17 degrees below the sun's equator. Doesn't sound like a huge angle, but I guess it's enough. It's enough to peek over the edge, so to speak. Gives us that crucial view of the polar regions we've been missing. So why is seeing the poles so important for, you know, for us back here? beyond just cool pictures. Well, it's fundamental. The sun drives everything in our solar system. Yeah. It's activity flares, solar storms, they can directly impact us. Think communications, power grids. Right, the space weather connection. Exactly. And understanding the sun's magnetic field, which drives all that activity, is key. A lot of that originates or is controlled by what happens at the poles. These views give us data we've literally never had for predicting solar behavior. And these first images. They're already showing something unexpected, or maybe just interesting. They're calling the South Pole's magnetic field messy right now. Messy. Okay, what does messy mean for Star's Pole? It means instead of a clear magnetic north or south, like you'd expect from a simple magnet, it's um, a jumble, a mix of north and south polarities all tangled up together. Huh. Is that bad or normal? It's actually expected, well, theorized. This messiness is temporary. It happens during solar maximum, the peak of the sun's activity cycle. Oh, wow. The sun's entire magnetic field is basically in the middle of flipping over. So things get really complex and tangled at the poles during that transition. So we're catching it mid-flip. Precisely. Right. We're seeing that process happen. Later on, it'll settle down into a clear single polarity again. But understanding this messy phase is crucial because it relates directly to how solar wind and eruptions are generated. Wow. So what's next for the orbiter? More of this. Yeah, the plan is to keep tilting that orbit, higher angles, better views of both poles in the coming years. So even clearer pictures, potentially. Clearer views and maybe completely new discoveries. We just don't know what we'll find when we look at these regions properly for the first time. It's genuinely exploratory science. It really is exciting, getting this completely fresh look at our own star. Absolutely, and it makes you wonder, you know, As we get these incredible new insights into the sun's magnetic engine room, what secrets about its power and its influence on Earth might we finally unlock? A fascinating thought indeed. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.